John Bickle spent the summer of 1864 hoping that he would avoid a final resting place at Andersonville, a fate that ultimately awaited him, although not in the way he expected. Bickle was captured in the Atlanta campaign and was sent to Andersonville prison. Throughout that summer, he watched as thousands of his fellow prisoners wasted away and were carted into the nearby cemetery where they were buried in hastily dug trenches. Death and burial at Andersonville must have seemed inevitable. But Bickle fought desperately to avoid an eternal slumber in the red clay of Georgia, a fight he won. In April of 1865, John Bickle was finally exchanged and returned home. But by the early 1900s, he had returned to Georgia and even married a local woman in nearby Houston County. In 1909, he was hired by the Woman's Relief Corps to serve as the caretaker for the Andersonville Prison Park. He lived on the old prison site in a large house that the Woman's Relief Corps maintained. Exactly 50 years after he left Andersonville, he died at the old prison site where so many of his friends had gone on before. He was the last Union soldier from the Civil War buried at Andersonville, and his story is a reminder that no matter what journey our lives take, we can only delay the inevitable for so long.